No, uh, just uh, Stackhouse is out tonight and uh, Bogans is out tonight. Um, uh, everybody else is in uniform. Do you expect that Bogans ready by opening night? Yeah, I hope to. I don't. I don't think um, it's that serious uh, where he's going to miss opening night. But you know, Bogans has fought so hard um, to get back from from the uh, ankle situation last year, and he's been probably our hardest worker outside of Darren um, in the off season. And you know, any setbacks you know with him, uh, it's kind of disappointing. You know, for him, he takes it really hard. So we're just trying to make sure that we keep his his spirits up and uh, <laughs> 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 he's never down, I don't think. But uh, keep his spirits up and, and, and let him know that it's a long season uh, and, and we appreciate all of his efforts. But, you know, we want to make sure that if he's not ready, that he's telling us the truth because uh, we don't want to have any major setbacks with him because he's overcompensating in another area of his body. With, with him out tonight, do you see this as a chance for Marshawn to get some extended minutes and maybe check some well, of the even, off? Even if he wasn't out tonight, uh, this was a chance for Marshawn to get extended minutes. To what degree do you feel you, even with some of the setbacks and the quick schedule, do you feel you've got a sense of the rotation for this year? We got some sense of it, Ben. Um, we're not there yet. You know, six preseason games, you know, are, are, is not enough time. Uh, we appreciate all the practice time we can get, but you know, for us, man, we just need to get in the regular season and and establish ourselves. And you know, we, we have a little bit better of an idea than we did, you know, uh, 60 days and 30 days ago. Uh, but it's still a work in progress. I, I, I think sometimes, you know, the rotation is important, but. For our team, whether a guy's playing eight minutes or he plays in the first half, doesn't play in the second half, our guys, we just got to be ready to play. You know, we just, guys just got to really be efficient with their minutes this year, uh, whatever amount of time that they play. How's the defense look this last couple of days in practice? How do you hope it translates? It, look, it looks pretty good, but you know, this is a team where we're going to see 60, 70 pick and rolls. Our pick and roll coverage is going to have to be sound. Um, you know, we've tried a lot of different things, ways to play the pick and roll in practice. We have finally now we have a basic way that we we like, and everybody's on the same page. And then we have a couple other backup coverages that we'll use from time to time, uh, whether it's coming out of a timeout, um, uh, maybe from game to game, some backup coverages. But we'll stay pretty basic tonight. And once we get in the regular season, you'll see us change up some of our coverages during the course of the game. What the crowd's going to be like today from the Knicks or Nets fans? Do you care? I uh, don't care. Uh, we're playing in, we're not even playing in none of our own buildings. So um, I, I, I care if we, you know, take care of the basketball, uh, hopefully defend the paint a little bit better than we, what we've done. Um, so I, I can't really say that. I'm not sure if you're aware, but this was the Nets old home before they moved to Jersey. So, um, do you guys hope that coming out here, maybe a few fans, you can pick up a few fans and that kind of stuff as well? Well, I, I've heard that, you know, the Nets played here. Um, it's it's kind of the irony of it all, I guess, is, you know, what's going on with the Islanders and how they'll be moving to uh, the Barclays Center. So, I guess this day is meaningful to a lot of people, especially with the Islanders moving. Um, and But also a sad day for people that are in this community that, that uh, you know, been a part of the Islanders uh, fan club for a long time. So, uh, but I know we've had a history in this building. Um, but you know, I'm looking forward to um, you know the regular season when we play at the Barclays Center and when we play the Knicks at the Garden. Do you have any memories of Dr. J with the Afro and the NBA flying through the air winning championships? Um, my my memories of Dr. J are more when he was with the Sixers. Um, you know during that time, not so much the ABA. Um, you know, you know, he's a guy, you know, obviously I grew up watching Pistol Pete Maravich and all those guys. Um, but obviously he's a guy that meant a lot to the game. Um, you know, when you talk about slashers and guys who didn't necessarily re rely on their jump shots, he was a guy that could, you know, flat out run the court and, 
and fly through the air. And he was always, for a young man, he was always somebody that, you know, he was on your fantasy team. You know, kind of the fantasy team before it was a fantasy team. <laughs> you guys have talked about being happy at your arenas, a basketball-only arena. So now with this thing, with the islands going to move there, have you guys talked did, about that? Did, did I ever say, uh, well, am I on record? Because I know we're in the... This is a, kind of the political season, and everybody wants to go refer to the train trip. <laughs> so, Tim, did I ever say that? I know. We're standing where we need it. We're standing where we need it. We're standing where we need it. Let's yeah. try it a different way. Are you, are you at all, is there any concerns about a new team being in the building? And no, no concerns. I think it's good. Uh, I, I, at the end of the day, you know, I've often used college football uh, as an example. At the end of the day, we are the college football program. So even though you know a, a university have other sports, you know we we are the major tenant, okay, and we're the driving force. Uh, but at the same time, the building needs to produce you know revenue. Sure. And and now they got forty some odd more dates a year, mm -hmm. and I, you know I think it's great, but the. At the end of the day, the focus of the whole Barclay Center project um, is, is, is Nets basketball. And then from there, then you can talk concerts and hockey and mm -hmm. all of that stuff. So I think that's what my thoughts are. When you're talking Nets basketball, now, now that you guys are in Brooklyn, how important is the Nick Net rivalry to, to building the Nets brand out in Barclay? Well, I don't know if it, again, I don't know if the Nick Net rivalry is about building our brand. I think you build your brand by winning. You build your brand by winning in the playoffs. Uh, you build your brand by, you know, hopefully getting in the finals one day with a chance to win a championship. You build your brand by consistency. Um, that's how you build your brand. And I think I've said it before. Um, if we're unfortunate in, in, in losing a game to a team, um, it's still, you know, we still got to play, you know, other NBA teams that we got to be successful against. And right now in the Eastern Conference, the Miami Heat are the defending Eastern Conference champions two years in a row and NBA champions. So that's the team that's that's the king of the hill. And for us, you know, not only New York, but we've had, we have a lot of other teams that are in front of us that we got to play catch up to. Indiana's a good basketball team. Philadelphia is a good basketball team. Boston, Boston, you know, nobody talks, you know, everybody seems to forget about them. They are a good basketball team, and they got Hall of Fame players. So, uh, you know, we're playing catch up in a lot of ways, and we're not there yet. We're not a finished product. And whatever happens when we play New York, there are going to be more games. And uh, we're going to take that game seriously, but as serious, we're gonna, we won't take any other games more seriously than we take that game. We're going to take all of our games seriously. Besides uh, the, all of the games are important. Sorry about that. Go besides ahead. The, besides the pick and roll defense, is there anything else specifically you're hoping?